Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. You ever lose a project? Yep, well, let's talk about saving versions in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, this is a very simple one, but an incredibly important one about saving versions. The only reason I'm doing this is I could tell from the questions that I got that some people are not taking precautions when working with projects and versions in Premiere Pro. Never, never, never trust the autosave in Premiere Pro. It is there for the last ditch effort in case something totally blew up. It's not meant to be a database kind of saving thing. I've heard of someone who said, I worked for five hours and never saved anything, and I thought autosave was doing it for me. Never, never, never. I actually save probably, when I, when I work on my show, I create a, a new project, and then I import, save, and I drop something in the timeline. Save, trim, save, move it, save. I probably save 10 times before I even get into detailed editing. Control S, Command S on the Mac, only takes a quick little but but uh, let's talk more about versions and all the different ways that we can protect ourselves. Okay, so something very simple. I've just got a, a, an edit here that I'm working on and I'm about to try something different and I'm not really sure how this is going to work. So uh, I'm not going to trust the ability to have 99 undos to go in here. So I'm going to leave this. I called this balloon ride. Um, why don't I call this balloon ride one and then we'll duplicate it. So I'll take this, name this zero one, right click on it and choose duplicate. And you can uh, create a keyboard. There is a keyboard shortcut to set for that. So here's number two, double click on that. Here's number one, here's number two. Let's say that I went in here and uh, I got rid of uh, a whole section of stuff and deleted that out and then realized, uh, yeah, let me try to move this over here. I'll do a, like an extreme edit on this. Um, I probably would be doing this in a much more efficient way, but just quickly coming in here and looking at this and realizing the story isn't told correctly. Oh, well, what do I do? Instead of undo, I've got another version. I know that sounds so simple, but for some people, um, it, it will be a wake up call create a new version. If you've got something complicated um, and it's very detailed uh, where you know that, that every single time you touch this edit, it's gonna go through some big painful changes, very complicated changes. Well, I would create, if I, and I've done this before on a project, I would start the day by creating a new project. So not just a new sequence in here, I would go to the desktop and duplicate that. Let's do that. So if you want to find out where this uh, project is, you can right click and you can choose reveal project in Explorer or, or be the Mac on uh, the finder on the Mac. So here it is, it's called versions, it's in this folder. I can select that, copy that and paste it. Now I've got a whole new project. I could paste this again. I could keep doing this as many times as I want. Now I'm really protected because I've got a completely different version with all the different sequences in it. So I know editors who start their day by duplicating the whole project. Everything is there. It's not blank. It's just a duplicate. So the next day, something completely blows up. Let's say you've lost a half a day, God forbid. At least you can go back and everything is there. Okay? So, well, the other rule that uh, is good to have is always back up in three places. Three places for your project. This is for your critical stuff that you cannot lose. So how about my desktop is one um, and... A good place is your Creative Cloud account. Did you know that in Creative Cloud you can turn on automatic autosave backup to the cloud? Let's do that. In your preferences, which is in the edit menu on Windows, it's in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac. Preferences, autosave. All you have to do is turn this one button, save backup project to Creative Cloud. And if I jump to my Creative Cloud account, in my assets, 
I'm logged into my Creative Cloud account. This Premiere Pro fo uh, folder was created automatically, and you can see I've been using it for multiple versions. So when I click on this, there's my auto save, open that up, there's all the projects. They're .prproj. These are full Premiere Pro projects in the cloud. One button, click, boom. How about Dropbox and maybe OneDrive or um, anywhere else that you have something to save? Just take the project because the projects, unless you're working on a feature film, the projects themselves are pretty tiny. Drop them in there and now you've got different uh, projects, you've got different timelines in the projects. How do we organize this? Well, let's go back over here and look at our two projects. So this is pretty obvious, one and two, but what if, if you know, this all of a sudden started to get uh, pretty detailed and we've got number three and then we've got number, maybe this is better named 3A or 3B. Now let's, one idea here is that number one, was older, number two is different, number three is different from one and two, and 3B is more like three with a slight difference inside there. You can name these anything you want. If this gets too busy, what some people will do is create a folder for the the, uh, pro the uh, sequence that isn't the most current one. If this project really only has one main sequence, let's make a, an archive folder. I'll just call it archive, but we can name it anything we want. I'll select these and drag them to the new bin. It's gonna create a new bin and it's gonna highlight it. So I'll call this archive and close this up. Now I have one timeline that I know is the most recent one and I can close these other timelines and that's it. The next day when I duplicate this and let's say that the threes are no more, this, we're now on version four. I could take three and drop it back into the archive. And it's in there, and I've got that. Open that up. All of these are backed up. I'm backed up locally on my drive. I'm backed up to Creative Cloud, in the cloud, Dropbox, OneDrive, uh, any other place, Google Drive, that you can just drop it. You want to stick it on a thumb drive, put it on your phone. <laughs> I mean, any place that you want to put this in. This gives you unbelievable confidence and freedom that you know if everything blows up, at least you still have your project. I mean, the media is the media. You still need the media, obviously. But when you feel confident that your project is rock solid and no matter what you're gonna do, it's going to be in place, you feel much better. Don't count on the auto save. Like I said, the auto save is just there to save your ass in case something blew up, the power went out and you're on a desktop, not a laptop, and you completely lost this thing. Uh, oh yeah, I've got that stuff saved in there. And remember to hit save, 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 save. I do that all the time. All right, so save your versions, duplicate your projects, back them up into three locations, and you're never going to lose any of your wonderful creative work. If you found this informative, then uh, I hope you have. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. And if you want to take your, your support up a notch, join us over on Patreon for as little as one buck a month. We really do appreciate everyone that has supported us, both on YouTube and on Patreon, and we promise to give you many more tutorials. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I'm saving your bacon by saving your projects and saving your versions and making you rock solid here at Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you.